live in Oxford, Oxford, Mississippi, with the one and only William Faulkner. How y'all doing today? There he is, the Southerner. All right, we're gonna ask you a couple of questions. You wrote the amazing story of that evening sun, and thank you for being with us today. So the first question is, where were you born? That is what the people want to know. I was born in uh, good old Oxford, Mississippi. I'm a southern boy, proud of it. Wow, he's a southern boy. I'm from Florida, I'm not even that southern. All right, second question, and you know, answer this as thoroughly as you can. You were born during a time of racism. How does this affect your writing? Uh, I like to portray the realities of racism in my writing. Um, I like to portray uh, the bad things about it um, and the things that actually happen so that people uh, and nowadays, nowadays they can uh, really come to understand how bad it really was. Yeah. Wow, that is inspirational. Thank you for that. You have a great stash too, by the way. Thank you, sir. All right, um, third question. Do you consider yourself a regionalist or a sectionalist writer? And why? Um, I would say I'm definitely a regionalist, uh, regionalist writer. Um, and that's because I like to write about my region. I love the Old South. Um, and I also use a lot of vernacular tongue. Um, so I would think that that would make me a regionalist. Can you give me an example, example, way, wow, I'm not going to get paid for that one, example of vernacular tongue? No, we didn't prepare for that. All right, that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. All right, here we go. Last question. You died July 6th, 1962. I did. You lived a good life. I did. Very good life. Really? What were you doing July 4th? I died July 6th. July 6th. 